Seabees. What's up, guys? This is part one of my Harbor Freight trailer build, which went from looking like this to this. Let me show you what I did. Now, the first step was removing the sides and the tailgate, which in my infinite wisdom, when I put this together, I'd put a lot of different kinds of screws. So that took a little longer than I wanted it to take. And the next thing I did was work on welding up all four corners. I did this because this side bolt had to come out for the angle iron to fit. And the next step was cutting all the old pieces of angle iron, which I got from an old bed frame to fit on the corners of the trailer. And then from there, I just worked on welding those to the frame, making sure they're nice and straight. And then it was time to start putting the boards on. The first two fit on there fine, and then I had to trim the third one down because it needed to be a little bit smaller. And then I put the back pieces on there. Those were a little tight, but a hammer does wonders. And now it's starting to look like a trailer, boy. Now the next thing to do was to fabricate a tailgate. So I went back to the bed frame, cut all pieces up, and started putting it together. All right, so I got the back gate installed, sort of. The plan here is to cut these pieces of wood and fill this guy in. One, two, three, make it look nice. Once I had everything put together, I decided to have a little fun with it and drive around the yard with the tractor. But let me show you everything that I did to this awesome new trailer. Well, first off, we'll talk about the wood siding. I found these pieces of lumber at Home Depot for less than five bucks for an eight foot length. They're about seven inches wide. I used the existing two by fours that I already had on there because why not? But I added angle iron on all four corners. I welded all the angle iron right onto the frame to make it as strong as possible and to hold these sides on nice and tight. Now, being that this is a folding trailer, this joint right here moves and there's actually a pin that holds it in place, but it's awful rickety when you go down the road. So I actually just welded those joints together so it stops shaking around so much on the road. Now, seeing as there's only these two two by fours for support in the middle, I put these little brackets on here and screwed the boards together to keep it from being too wobbly. Now, I basically picked up the cheapest hinges at the hardware store and put three of them on. They don't match. This one's not centered. Do I care? No. Doesn't look the best, but once I clean it up and paint it, it'll be fine. Going for function here, not looks. Now here's the back gate. It's basically just old angle iron. This is from an old bed frame that I got for free. If you can find a free bed frame, pick it up. It's really good metal, and this stuff is not cheap. I am going to eventually put a board here and a board here, but just haven't gotten to that point yet. Now to hold the door in place, I just have a simple latch, carabiner, and a little chain so it doesn't fall off. So you just unlatch it and the door swings right open. Now on the inside of the trailer, I put a bunch of these little D-rings that you can get at Harbor Freight for a couple bucks for a pair. It's good for strapping stuff down if you're picking up a lawnmower or something else and you don't want it rolling all over the place. And I got a total of eight of those, two on the sides here and I got four on the back wall. Now I still have a bunch more I wanna to do to this trailer, mainly installing a winch. Ideally what I'm gonna do is fabricate a bracket up here where this thing can be mounted. And that way if I wanna winch something into the trailer that maybe has a dead battery or it's too heavy, I can winch it right up, baby. Now I'm also planning on getting a weatherproof toolbox that I can mount right here, have all my straps and my bungee cords, because right now they're in this craftsman box, and it is definitely not weatherproof. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for checking out my trailer build. It's not perfect, it's a little bit wonky, but it was done on a budget with a lot of scrap stuff and cheap stuff, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's gonna have a lot more utility now than it did before. Thank you guys for watching.